Hey everybody, I'm Becky Adams. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel today. Today I have a really fun project using the May 2021 kits and a subscriber cut file. So I've done a couple of things to get started. First of all, I have, I prepared my background. So I have this um, navy with a little bit of floral for my background and I gutted it, and then I gutted the yellow paper as well, and then put an 11 inch piece of white cardstock right in the middle. And I did that because that is the exact size of my cut file. So in order to access this cut file, you have to be a subscriber for um, to the Hip Kit Club. I immediately knew what I wanted to do when I saw this cut file. I knew that I would make an awesome um, white on white background and I wanted to add some, a lot of texture and dimension to it as well. So I cut out the cut file at 11 inches as I said and then I stitched on these thicker white lines with white thread. So I did that around the border and then on the thicker lines. So you can see right here on these thinner lines, I didn't stitch through them. I was afraid that I would, if I went a little bit off, that it would ruin my cut file. So I just went with the bigger lines and did the stitching. And then on the back, I put some foam adhesive. And I'll make sure there's a link to these in the description box below. But this is the foam adhesive I used. It's from scrapbook.com and they're just really thin, I believe they're an eighth of an inch foam strips. And I just peeled them off the backing and stuck them on the back of my cut file. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the backing from my foam strips. And I'm not going to do every single little piece with foam adhesive. Um, I did I did a lot of it, but I didn't think it was necessary to do all of it. Um, I just wanted enough so that it wouldn't like cave in and go flat on the page. So we'll just remove the backing here. and remove the backing along some of these center sections as well. So with the backing removed, just going to adhere that right to the middle of the cut file, or excuse me, the white backing. And then I am ready to build the rest of the layout on top. So the other challenge um, for this project was one, to use a cut file, and two, not to include any pink. So I already have, I've got one four by six black and white photo here. I used just some scraps and made um, a mat for the photo, and then I included a a pocket for this tag that I put my journaling on. I just hand wrote my journaling. The tag is from from my stash. And then I have my title here. This title is from a Pink Fresh Studio. And the title is Celebrating You. And I'm just going to make sure that everything is centered. And then start placing my letter stickers. So before I place the rest of my letter stickers, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere my photo because I I'm going to need some overlap to make these letters stickers 
stay in place. So we'll just put some double-sided tape here and remove the backing so that I can slightly overlap the letter stickers and they'll have enough space to stick down, if that makes sense. I'll show you what I'm talking about here in one minute. One thing I love about this background is that it's super easy to make thing, make sure that things are placed correctly. So like I'm looking, I've got two squares and then a little bit more. And so I just make sure that that is happening on, or that that's where I'm at on the other side as well. Put that in place and then I'm going to overlap my letter stickers and make sure actually I need to shift this a little bit so that my title is centered. And then once I have these in place, I'm going to, I'll go back with some liquid adhesive and make sure that everything sticks really well. So now that I have my title and my photo and my journaling in place, I'm going to add a subtitle before I start um, with my embellishments. So this obviously is a birthday photo. It was of my husband's birthday. And I'm going to add this banner that this is from the Jen Hadfield Reaching Out collection. So there's my title, subtitle, and photo and journaling in place. And now I'm going to bring in some fun florals to put some embellishment right in these two areas. These flowers from the Paige Evans Wonders collection came in the embellishment kit. So I'm just going to place these flowers around the photo, not adhering anything quite yet. I want to make sure that I have everything balanced well and have my colors uh, spread, on, spread out to both sides, things like that. So I'm just watching, I've got an orange flower over here. So I'm putting an orange flower over there. The same with this bluish teal color. It's not gonna be a 100% perfect balance, but it's gonna be pretty close and it will look, it will look really nice. Okay. And then I've got a little yellow flower and I'm going to put that over on this side because I'm balancing out that yellow border along this, along the side of the photo. Okay, so I think that is the placement that I want. And I am going to use pop dots to adhere these flowers and some of them will be adhered to the cut file and some of them will be adhered to the background. Um, it just kind of depends on where where the placement is, but I think that the, the pop dots are gonna be the easiest way to stick these down. So we'll just take a couple of these, whoops. For the largest flower and we'll tuck that right under there and I will I am going to use liquid adhesive and I'll get those adhered so that they're not popping off okay and then we'll do one more on this leaf on this side Okay. 
And then we'll start over here. And I'm going to start with the bigger piece and just kind of hold it in place. And then push it down and that's going to grab a hold of both of this leaf and the flower. So I'll do the same, just gently lift those up. And adhere those in place. And I am going to pull. That one's a little smaller, hard to... Hard to hold it in place and adhere it at the same time when it's just little. Actually, I'm going to pull this one up. And I want a little bit more. The reason I pulled that one from here up to here is because my height was um, was not balanced very well. They don't have to be exactly the same height, but you know, I didn't want one here and the other one clear up here. So putting this one flower right there will fix that. And then we'll move that leaf down just a little bit. And with that, I'm going to call this one finished. So thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to spend with me. If you haven't already done so, I would love to have you as a new subscriber. I upload new videos every Sunday and then usually one or two videos throughout the week. So thank you again for stopping by and I'll see you again soon.